안녕하십니까 온라인 서저리 김경원입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim k y u n g w o n of Online Surgery. I'm honored to share with you a surgical case with you today. Let's look at today's surgical case. This is 66-year-old male patient. In the upper right, number 7, there was severe mobility, swelling, and pain. That was the chief complaint. Looking at CBCT, in number 17, there is a significant alveolar bone destruction. Buccal bony wall was almost gone. In terms of dentistry, there is nothing else to note. In terms of medical history, the patient had controlled hypertension and was taking an antithrombotic agent. There were no major issues and we did not ask the patient to quit drug intake. Extraction was done in number 17 first because there was no bony wall on the buccal side. A os particle bone and os guide were used. Socket preservation was done using collagen membrane and one guide was used to, to place implant in number 17 because there was no buccal bone whatsoever. When one guy's surgery was performed, after implant was placed, additional bone graft was done. If you look at number 17, and this is the CBCT, the entire buccal bony wall was gone and significant alveolar bone destruction was observed. So this was at the time of extraction after removing number 17 and the granulation tissue on the buccal side. There was no wall whatsoever and the septal bone itself between roots was gone as well. Socket preservation was done using a os particle bone and os guide was used on top. About two weeks after surgery, this is panoramic image, this is 2.5 months later. This was at 4 months and 26 days, so almost 5 months. In the area where socket preservation was done, bone formation could be observed. I took a CT once again. In the area where AOS graft was done, we cannot say that bone consolidation is complete but bone is being filled up in the area where socket preservation was done. Because buccal bone was lacking, I intended to do additional grafting after surgery. After consulting with one guide team, KS3BA surface 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned. The plan was to place the implant slightly deeply and to do additional bone graft in the buccal side. As you can see, one guide was adapted as shown, implant was placed. It's not very visible here, but right after placement incision was made, additional AOS graft was performed and suture was done. This is immediate post-op. ISQ value was 5757. You can see on the CT image that along with the implant, additional bone graft materials were placed in the buccal area. At the time of surgery, biopsy was performed. As a result, between AOS particle, new bone formation was observed. New bone was being formed in the area where socket preservation was done, and this was confirmed through biopsy. This was at the time of second surgery. The ISQ values were 70 and 66. After that, prosthesis was delivered. This was after 11 months since initial socket preservation. This is panoramic image after 5 months since implant placement. I tried to recall the patient for follow-up, but because the patient did not face major issues, the follow-up was not easy. So this was nicely maintained, and if opportunity arises, I would like to show you CT once again. By doing so, I believe I will be able to show you the nice results achieved through socket preservation. Let's take a look at the surgical clip. One guide template adaptation was done as shown. 
mirrors and other tools were used to check the position of one guide template. Wider type tissue punch was used to remove overriding mucosa. You can see that the template was fixed with my hand. Tissue punch was used to remove overriding mucosa. After the removal was confirmed, the one guide template was positioned once again. For biopsy, trafine drill was used. In the area where socket preservation with AOS graft material was done, I used a trafine drill to get specimen to check how much healing was done. You can see that the specimen has been gained. Initial drill was used for drilling. Gold rim wide type initial drilling was done. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill was used. Because this was where socket preservation was done, for a final drill, 4.5 by 10 millimeter drill was used. 4.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill was used for final drilling. 4.5 by 10 millimeter drilling was done. After that, KS3BA surface 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was placed. Because this was an area where socket preservation was done, bone quality was not excellent. Final drilling was done up to 4.5. 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was positioned. Using engine, the implant was placed about 80%. After that, implant driver was used, hand wrench was used, primary stability was not excellent. It was about around 10 newtons, slightly over 10 newtons. The primary stability was as shown. Depth control and hex positioning was done. Template was removed, the smart pack was connected. Because uh, the superior bone quality was not excellent, the ISQ measurements were not that good. It was about 5757. As mentioned earlier, in order to do additional bone graft on the buccal side, after implant placement, incision was made as shown. Slight incision was made. Flap elevation was done on the buccal side. After flap reflection, before doing bone graft in this case, in order to make sure that it does not go inside the implant, the healing abutment should be connected first. 5.0 by 6 millimeter healing abutment was connected. After that, on the buccal side, because there is an area where there is lack of bone formation, AOS particle bone was used. On the buccal side, flap reflection was not done excessively. Sufficient bone packing was done on the buccal side. Because this was minor incision, suture was performed as shown. This was the surgical clip. One guy surgery itself was not difficult at the time of socket preservation because the buccal wall defect was quite significant. One guide was used, a tissue punch was used after implant placement. Minor flap elevation was done on the buccal side. 
First, healing abutment was connected, and then AS particle bone was used to do additional bone graft on the buccal side. I hope this surgical clip helped you. Thank you for watching.